Hey, good morning everyone. I hope you're doing well. And if you're not doing well, I hope that as time progresses, things will get better. This morning, I want to share with you a reel that I saw on Instagram. And in the content of the reel, they were talking about single parent homes, especially single parent home led by women, by mothers. And one of the things that they were talking about is the statistics of how, you know, many of our children who turns out to be delinquent and those who get involved in crimes and those get who get involved in prostitution, that they were coming from single parent home led by mothers. And while this statistic might be true, I am not here to debate that, but more to say that there is a reason. There is a reason why this statistic is what it is. And I will say part of that reason is because the men are not present. Now, we can easily stand on the sideline as men and make a judgment call and join with those who create statistics and say, oh, yes, yes, see, this is what happened when, you, you, as a mother, you don't allow the man to be involved in the life of the children. But isn't it possible that these mothers did give the fathers a chance, an opportunity to be involved in their children's life? Let's be real about it. A woman is bonded to a child from the moment of conception. And she nurtures and takes care of the child from the child is in the womb until the child is born. Many times if a man don't connect with the woman and the baby, the, the unborn child during pregnancy, he doesn't create a bond. And so it is easy for a man to walk away from his responsibility. It is easy. It's easier than a woman. And when this happens, when relationship breaks, a lot of times the men feel that they should punish these women by just leaving them with the responsibility of the kids. And that is unfair. And so it is unfair for us as men to even feel the need to discuss certain matters concerning a woman who are trying their best to take care of their children. It is hard on them. It is hard. It is hard to work two, three jobs to make ends meet. But at least they stay present. At least they are there. This child gets to know one of the parent. And there's so many arguments that can come out of this. There's so many who will argue and say, Oh, well, what if I'm not the father? Well, if you're not the father, you're not the father. But if you are the father, where are you in all of this? Don't tell me that the woman is, is being deliberate in trying to keep you away from the child. Use the legal system. It is there. I keep saying this over and over. The system is there to help you to be involved in the ch life of your child. The reason this doesn't happen many times is because we don't want to pay child support. We don't want to feel like we're giving money to this woman. Because now that the relationship is over, we feel like, oh, if I give money to this woman, she's going to say, oh, it's for my child, but in indirectly it's for her. And then she's taking my money. And what am I getting? I'm not getting anything out of it. So now we become selfish and we don't even consider the child. We, our focus is about punishing the woman or not making sure that this woman get any of our money. We need to stop this foolishness because in the end, who are we destroying? The child. The child is the one that's being destroyed in this process. Listen, man, parenting is hard. And it's even harder when you're doing it alone. I am a single father. And it's hard. It's hard to do it alone. But I keep doing it. And I see a lot of single mothers who keep doing it. My mother was a single mother for years. And she did it until the God blessed her with a good husband, my stepdad. You know, but I'm saying to us, 
it is hard to do it alone. So men, stop this foolishness. I'm calling you out. Stop this foolishness. Get involved in the life of your children. Use the system if you need to fight to be in the life of your children. Do it. Do it for your children. Forget about you. This is not about you anymore. This is not about you and her anymore. It's about the children giving them a chance. Giving an opportunity to change the statistics. You want to see your sons and your daughters become positive contributors to society. You want to see your children excel and elevate to the to that position in life that you can be proud of them. I see so many mothers or so many men who become positive contributors to a society who become very successful whether through sports or whatever medium necessary you hear them talk i just thank god for my mother my mother was there for me throughout you know i remember when my mother didn't have it and all of these things and you hear very few mention of their fathers do you think this is by designed to to just not show up fathers in a positive light no it is because the fathers were not there so before as men we feel the need to point fingers at our mothers who are trying their best let's point the finger back at ourselves first and fix us first and then we can have a talking point about single parent homes led by mothers but I say to you, forget about all of that. Give your children a chance by being present in their lives. I invite you to share, to like, to subscribe. And remember this, man. Everything that we do, we're doing it for the betterment of our children. Stay blessed and God bless y'all.